back guys to Pinot Cross over Mark and Mark here as your host. Let's go straight up to our NBA topics. What's up in the NBA? Ingrid, what do we have? I definitely want to talk about the lottery. I know yeah. you guys probably watched it live during practice. So tell me about it. Like New York, like what's Were you guys surprised about like New the, Orleans? Who well, like the order of the picks? Yeah. Uh, what was, are you surprised most? Yeah. I was surprised that New Orleans was got the got first pick because they weren't so like they weren't that they weren't a the team that was supposed to get six. Like they were You're supposed to get right? six. Yeah, six. Yeah. Six percent. Yeah, it was like and then when uh, when we heard that Lakers might get first, we um like I was I was like, whoa. Yeah. But then when the lottery happened, Pelicans so they're probably gonna pick Zion but yeah. What do you think they would do at this point? Because like the obvious pick I, is Zion. Like Zion. What are they gonna do with the rest of the team? I mean. But then Anthony, Anthony Davis, Davis wants to get out. traded like, still. What so. should they do with Davis? They so might, what do you guys think we should do? I don't think. They, I don't think. I don't, I don't know. It, that's that's Anthony Davis. Yeah. If they might give him one more year, yeah. but if, if they play good together, I don't think Anthony Davis is leaving. Yeah. Okay. I don't think so. Yeah. I mean, having yeah. a. Zion Williams and a uh, Davis and the team. That's all dunks and like high uh, expectations for Zion too. I know. Yeah, it's so true. good. Yeah. Oh. Do you think he would want to play? Because he did say he wants to play for a high market team like New York. Yeah. So I think he wants his own team, like yeah. not as great team, so mm -hmm. he could prove himself too. Like mm -hmm. he wants to develop his name, kind of thing. Yeah. Right? So yeah. that's why yeah. he's good with Anthony Davis and some other players too. Yeah, and like he could show himself, and then Anthony Davis can be there too. Like they can yeah. feed off each other, kind of. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, like Zach mean. said, like if Anthony da Davis does leave in one year, like Zion, Zion will have to like step up. Step up. With Drew Holiday and that. Well, we don't know how he's gonna play yet, but, but like. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about, I guess, the the rest of the players. Like, who else in the draft do you think we're we'll sleeping on, or maybe should be drafted first? Like, is should there any of the players? First? Yeah. Other than Zion. Who do you guys feel like you know would be a more fit if Zion was not as hype or as popular as it is? Like, who do you think is more ready for the NBA? Who do you think is actually really nice that you've been following? Jamarant. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And What's good about his game? Yeah. He's so he's explosive. explosive. He's so explosive. Yeah. He's like Russell Westbrook, but he has a jumper too. So uh, when he's near the rim, he's gonna slam it on somebody. It doesn't matter yeah. how tall you are. Athletic. Yeah. He's gonna slam it on him. What are your thoughts about like players like Cam Reddish or like maybe R.J. Barrett, because he's a fellow yeah. Canadian? Like, what are your thoughts about his game? Like, well, yeah. Memphis is probably gonna go with R.J. Barrett. So, mm -hmm. like. I don't know what Memphis is gonna do. They might pick R.J. Barrett, but they might not because they have a few shooting guards on their team. And John Murray. Like, yeah. If you pick him, he's gonna be. He's he's most likely to be another point guard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if you add R.J. Barrett, he could also play small forward and power forward. Yeah. yeah. He's combo. And, yeah. yeah. And point. No, they're, they're, both of them are, like, I mean, you guys the, are top, well yeah. the top three, I <laughs> yeah. mean, you guys know the top three players right now in this draft. Zion, R.J. Barrett, and yeah. um, Jay Morant are, like, really the top players in this draft, and, and the rest are kind of, like, in terms of the level of talent, kind of questionable. So at that point, up to until um, New York, and uh, it's a pretty good pick, but after that, it's kind of, you know, you're getting players that are not up to the level. Let's talk about, I guess, you know, the recent playoff games that we had, two game seven, uh, with the Nuggets and I don't know if you guys watched the Nuggets and the yeah. Portland, uh, Portland Trail Racer yeah. game. What did that tell you guys about you know players like McCollum, players like Damon Lillard? What was the game? How did you guys feel about that game? Well, let me speak. It was it was uh, good watching somebody like C.J. McCollum step up because mm -hmm. usually they don't. Step up like and, in yeah, big yeah. situations. And Ronnie Hood, yeah, he, yeah. Had, he, came, he came off the bench, yeah. and he came up big. Yeah. yeah, he he played so good that yeah. game, and then and then Dave and then Damian Lillard oh, against. It wasn't game time. It was yeah. <laughs> no, it was more CJ McCollum's time. <laughs> was, uh, I think. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Two hours later would have been game time. Yeah. <laughs> Two transition that for you guys um, with Lillard and McCollum now facing a team that's pretty much similar built. But a little bit, you know, on the higher end or more <laughs> upgraded. That McCollum, Lillard versus Curry and St uh, and uh, Clay. What are you guys' thoughts about the series? Like, yeah, they just finished game one yeah, recently. So. You got two splash brothers and a splash brother kind of light, like facing against each other. 
what like, what do you think of the matchup? It it's gonna be tough because yeah. there's no KD. Yeah. But I think, like for me, yeah. I think it, they're better without KD. Yeah. They have more ball movement. Mm -hmm. uh, they everybody gets more touches. Like they they run more like plays that they actually do, mm -hmm. and they like sets up like Steph whatever Draymond. That's why it's so hard to guard them because mm -hmm. everybody focuses on Steph running around mm -hmm. and trying to get the ball. Mm -hmm. But meanwhile, somebody's cut, cutting to the uh, the basket. the basket and yeah. they just give it to him. He's, it's a wide open layup. Yeah, that's I feel, why it's so hard. Do you believe them. that too? That they're a better team without Kevin or Kevin? Is yeah, I've, I think that too because yeah. Kevin. Clay, yeah. Clay, like had a great had great games when Kevin wasn't. When Kevin Durant wasn't playing, he even had a great game for Game One. Right? Yeah. So yeah. And yeah. What do you think? Who do you think is how close? I guess if you think of the matchup between Damian Lillard and Steve McCollum and Clay and and Steph, how close are they in terms of talent wise and as a player? Like, are they close or not even close in terms of like Steph and mm -hmm. is just a better player than Damian Lillard or like Clay is a better player than like McCall like what do you guys think about those kind of comparison between the two or a matchup between the two? I feel like Clay is a better player than CJ McCollum. Better mm -hmm. shooter that's for sure. Yeah better yeah. shooter yeah. Yeah. and like CJ McCollum when he wants to attack he'll attack and he wants when he wants to score he'll score yeah. but like I feel like Clay is a better all-around player. Mm -hmm. He can play and, defense too. Yeah he can play defense too Very good. and Steph Curry and Damian Lillard, well, Steph Curry is good on, like, really good on offense. And Damian Lillard is, like, two-way. He could two go way. both sides. But I feel like it's going to be, like, them going at it um, um, this season. Playoffs. This, play this playoffs. and. <laughs> So you guys yeah. think, like, like, for you, I think, they're, like, they're, What do you for think sure. for the yeah. finishing for the series? They're both, Steph and Dame are both the same. When they're not hitting, they're off. Yeah. But mm -hmm. they'll find it some way. Yeah. But I think Clay and CJ, Clay, if, even if he's missed, like, 200, say 200 shots, he'll, yeah. he'll, 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 still, he'll still keep on shooting yeah. until he makes it. Yeah. Yeah. And he makes both impacts on both ends of the court, yeah. too, right? Yeah. What's, yeah. Your, yeah. What's, What's your prediction for What's your series? prediction for this? I like, think it's going to go... They're I not gonna sweep them. I don't know. Okay. I know we'll because the war is gonna do something. I could weird. tell that. I could tell that when Ke comes back, he's gonna do good. But yeah. it's gonna. Hold I don't the know. Team. Damian Lillard, he's he's clutch in, the, in like moments, yeah. and I don't know. I think it's gonna be a close series. Yeah. Because like Damian Lillard's really good in the fourth quarter. Mhm. Mm and yeah, I think it's gonna be uh, five. Five games. Five. Because mm. the Warriors, when when they have all the pressure on them, mm -hmm. they'll step up. But mm -hmm. since they just beat the Rockets and beat them in Game One, mm -hmm. I think they'll do something weird in this game. Yeah. So we'll find out. Awesome. Same. Yeah. yeah same Five. with Zach. Yeah. Same with Zach. Because yeah. what do you think, Mark? It's well. It depends on when KD comes back. So yeah. if he does come back in like. Game He's three or four. Game five. He's five. Game, five. Sure. Yeah. game five, five. Then like I, it might be a game five. <laughs> it depends. <laughs> yeah. But those two uh, three games that without him, it might go to game six depending on how. I thought, uh, I was thinking going to game six. Yeah. Definitely not a sweep for sure. Yeah. But I'm thinking game six because you know, if Katie does come yeah. back, they're going to be feeding him the ball as much as they could. Exactly.